I play Spencer, who's a former police officer, uh, who is um, a man who takes the law into his own hands when somebody is sandbagging a homicide investigation. He then goes to prison, uh, spends five years in general population, which is not an easy thing for for a police officer. Police officers don't survive in prison. And when he gets out, he's about to leave town, but he gets pulled back in. And what makes him tick is injustice. He can't stand it. He can't stand by and watch innocent people being wronged. Uh, And it's just in his DNA. So he now starts putting his nose where it doesn't belong and usually ends up getting punched in the nose because of it. But, um, you know, uh, that's just the kind of guy he is. I play Hawk, who is essentially this bruiser with a heart of gold. He is a warrior that has essentially so much love and uh, beauty on the inside, but you don't get to see that from the get-go. That's something that we slowly reveal as the movie progresses. Um, He is an unlikely friend and partner to Spencer but they find in each other a family. They find in each other the family that they've been looking for the whole time throughout this movie. And then they lay their lives lives down on the line to protect that. Sissy is Mark's ex-fiance-ish, ex-girlfriend, and she is a tough woman, she's a strong woman, and she's her own woman. So at the end of the day, she's a small business owner. Uh, She loves with a lot of passion, and she's got her opinions, and she wants what she wants. Me and Mark are in jail and I come to the table and uh, bring my boys with me and we just try to kick his ass and it doesn't turn out so good for us. Pete's the best. Pete has a lot of energy. Pete has a lot of ideas and a great vision and um, I'm super honored to be a part of his movie. And, and Well, they are complete opposites, Spencer and Hawk, but, uh, you know, there's nothing better than jamming two people that have nothing in common together. Ultimately, they find out that they do share one thing in common. They have that same moral and ethical compass where um, they want to do the right thing by people, especially people who are victims. And so um, it makes for a lot of laughs. They're an odd pair. You have this kind of giant uh, in Winston Duke playing uh, Hawk and Spencer, who's this feisty kind of over-the-hill cop who just uh, has a no-nonsense, doesn't give a shit kind of attitude. They would never usually find each other in the real world, you know. Um, I think they live complete different lives. They're from different times. Hawk is a product of the now, and Spencer is a little bit of a relic, but it's the kind of a sensibility and integrity that we need today. So it's feeding that back in, and those two things meet, you know, and they bond over that. They bond over integrity. They bond over the things that you can't sacrifice. Uh, You know, well, when Spencer first gets out of prison, he's trying to avoid Sissy. She's got a very strong personality, and he's not really capable of dealing with her. He's got he, he's got some social issues and social anxiety and um, and then of course uh, as he gets out she confronts him and he realizes that you know she's still the love of his life they reconnect and then uh, she just gets into everybody's business so she she makes herself part of it he initially is trying to protect her but she uh, she basically joins the gang and, and starts right up in, in the fight. The dynamic between Spencer and Sissy is that they're ex-lovers and they were kind of torn apart when he went to prison, but there's still so much love between them and he's got so much going on and I think regardless of how much they fight, they love each other so much and he knows that he can trust her because at the end of the day, Spencer, uh, Duke, Sissy, they all have these unshakable moral compasses. They're always going to do what's right. Sissy is the truth teller. She is the truth telling, motor mouth, like hold nothing back. Um, strong woman of the peace, and she doesn't let anyone slide. She holds everyone accountable. Uh, it was it was um, a very different atmosphere for Pete and I making this movie because uh, the first three movies that we did were all true stories about tragic events uh, that happened, and that really adds a lot of pressure when making it, uh, telling a story like that. Um, and it was just the first time that we actually had to have, we got to have fun. Uh, we were loose and uh, trying things and being, you know, we're always very collaborative, but we always kind of challenge each other to do our best work. And, uh, you know, he's like my big brother. 
Uh, Mark Wahlberg is a super generous scene partner. He's ready to play at all times. He comes prepared. And as a producer, he's very aware. Like, he sometimes knew what we were shooting before anyone else and would, like, remind us and, you know, be there. So it was very much present at all times. Mark Wahlberg is so professional and he's so present in every scene and he's so open to allowing the other actors in the scene. So for me, the experience was he was... Because he was doing his job so well and he's so secure as the actor that he is, he allowed me to be funny or improvise and he's right there with you. Uh, so it was a real lesson in professionalism and creativity, just getting to work with him. This is, at its heart, this is a story about good versus evil, but it is a through and through action movie. There are a lot of grown men going through brick walls. There's a lot of fighting. Uh, and it's the delicious violence and action that we crave in a movie like this. At first glance, you think it's just an action movie, but it's a thriller. It's got some serious drama in it. Um, Hope, who plays Leticia, has some really grounded moments of sadness. And then there's a lot of comedy uh, and it's got heart. So there really is something for everyone. And for the rest of you, there's Sissy.